Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's talk about the different types of electromagnetic radiation and what is different about them. What are the differences between these? Remember that we had on one side, we had the radio waves, then we had microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet radiation, X rays, and gamma rays. And yes, they're all electromagnetic radiation, but the question is what is different between these two? And in actuality, there's no difference except for the fact that the ones on the left here have longer wavelengths and the ones on the right have shorter wavelengths. Consequently, if they have long wavelengths, they have low frequencies. If they have high, uh, short wavelengths, they have very high frequencies. What is the frequency of electromagnetic radiation? Well, think of a wave. Think of the wave of an ocean as they're approaching us. We, have, we can count the number of waves that, that come to us per second or per minute. Maybe per minute is better because they don't come that quick in the ocean. But let's say we count them and there's five waves that come to us every minute. So that would be the frequency, five waves per minute. In the same way, electromagnetic radiation, we can count the frequency. As electromagnetic radiation is coming past us, and of course it goes very, very quickly, it travels at 300,000 kilometers per second the speed of light. So the velocity is equal to C, C stands for the speed of light, and it's 186,000 miles per second or 300,000 kilometers per second. And so as electromagnetic radiation passes us by, because it's a wave, it will have ups and downs, so to speak. The wave goes up, the wave comes down, up and down like that as it's passing by us. And the number of times that the wave goes up and down, that's the number of wavelengths that pass us. That's the frequency, the number of waves per second that pass us. And those numbers are very, very high when it comes to electromagnetic radiation. But that's how the two differentiate between, that's, how the, that's where we find the two differences uh, between the different kinds of electromagnetic radiation. These have long wavelengths and low frequencies. These have short wavelengths and very high frequencies. But in essence, they're actually the very, very same thing. The reason why we classify them is because they behave differently at different frequencies and different wavelengths. In some cases we can see them, in other cases we can't. For example, we can see visible light when it enters our eyes, but we can't see anything else. The ones on the right, they tend to be dangerous to human life. If we get bombarded by a lot of these, our bodies will get damaged. In some cases, it will kill us. On the other hand, radio waves and microwaves and infrared radiation are very uh, benign towards us. Of course, everybody's kind of afraid of make microwaves because we have microwave ovens in our kitchens and we cook food in them. But it's simply that if you get bombarded by a lot of electromagnetic radiation, you will absorb the energy and you will get warmer. If you stand in the sun and you receive too much sun, you might get sunstroke because you obtain too much heat from the sunlight. And so that can be dangerous in that way as well. So an overabundance of energy, of course, is never good almost in no amount of form that it comes in. Now, radio waves are probably pretty benign because we can, bomb we can be bombarded by radio waves our whole life long and it really doesn't do anything to us. Infrared ra radiation will warm us up. Visible light will warm us up. Ultraviolet radiation will warm us up and begin to damage us because it's so energetic and so forth. X-rays, of course, we use X-rays to take X-ray pictures of our bone structure. Gamma rays, very dangerous. Don't want to get any near them for any length of time. So, other than that, there really isn't any difference. Again, they're the same thing. They're all electromagnetic radiation, a movement in the electric fields around positive or negative charges. And we'll get more details of that as we move on with our videos. So I just want to impress upon them the only real difference is long wavelengths, short wavelengths, low frequency, high frequency, and of course the wavelengths get shorter as we go this way and the frequency increases as we go this way. There's really no hard boundaries between them either. We tend to think of radio waves in terms of meters, tens of meters or hundreds of meters long, as long as a football field, down to the size of a meter. Microwaves tend to be fairly short in the range of centimeters. Infrared radiation tends to be in the order of micrometers, so 10 to the minus 6 meters. Let's put that down. So 10 to the minus 6 meters for micrometers. Visible light ranges anywhere from 700 to 400 nanometers. Remember, nanometers is 10 to the minus 9 meters, so let's write that down. 10 to the minus 9 meters, so in the order of 700 to 400 of those. When it comes to ultraviolet radiation, the lengths are from 400 nanometers down to about 10 nanometers. When it comes to X-rays, it's in the order of angstroms, about 10 to the minus 10 meters, and gamma rays in the order of picometers, which is in the order of 10 to the minus 12 meters. Those are rough estimates as to the size of these. Again, they're the same thing, just shorter wavelengths, higher frequency. 
And we'll get more, we'll get more into the details, what each of them can do and how they relate to the atmosphere and how we observe them and so forth in future videos.